In this lesson, I'm going to show you the Curve Connector tools and the Reply Section tools for curve editing objects. So if I come to page 2 here, I've brought in the uh, Future Bird Curves here as you can see. And in the bottom right hand corner here, I want to clean this up a little bit and sharpen it up a bit. So I'll zoom into that section to show it, as you can see there. And you can see that this isn't very sharp around this corner here, around these edges here. So I want to clean that up a little bit. First thing I do is I select the object and I put it in wireframe mode. I just zoom in a little bit closer there. And up in the top left corner here we can click on node edit mode. And we can select the item and then we're presented with the node edit and curve edit uh, tools up here. And we're interested in these ones here, the connector tools. And these are an ideal way of cleaning up these sections here. So in this case we'll start off with a tangent connector. And I get this on-screen controller, this blue arrow that follows around the curve as you can see like that. So if I left click here and then come up to the top right section here, you can see how it's adding in this preview, this blue line, and if I click it actually applies it. And again if I go here, I click, it applies it here, it applies it, and I click and apply it here. And if we go out of wireframe mode and back into object mode, we can see we've sharpened this area up quite substantially using that tangent tool. It's a very quick way of creating a tangent uh, around corners for these curve objects here. Now if I slide over to the left hand side here and I look here, I want to sharpen, I want to match this sort of sharp effect over here and sharpen this area up here. So again I'll put the object into wireframe mode and I'll click on node edit mode and select the object. And again I get all my uh, node editing tools up here. I can see all my nodes on the screen and I'm not, just not happy with this, this shape in here like this. I want to tidy this up, sharpen this up. So the way to do that is I can come up here and I'll click on Line Connector. So I click on that and I can click here and I can click like that and I get my blue line as you can see. I can click, get my blue line as you can see and I can click and I get this nice sharp effect going through here. So with the line connector and the tangent connector, I can really sharpen up my, uh, my corners as you can see there. Now sometimes you want to use uh, a, smoother, a smoothing routine, so I'll just zoom out a little bit here. So far around here it looks okay. Come over to here, and I've got this sort of notched area here. I want to smooth this up a little bit. Again I've got a perfect tool for that. I go into node edit mode, I click on this curve here, I come to this drop down here, I've got Smooth Connector. So I click on that, again I get my on-screen controller. But this time instead of being sharp or tangential, it's actually giving me a smooth connection. And by doing that like that, I'll now go out of wireframe mode, you can see I get this beautifully smooth, sharp, uh, smooth section here like that. So that's, a, uh, that's the way the tangent and smooth and line connectors work. On, a, on an existing object like that, on a single object. Now quite often you'll want to actually smooth connect between two separate objects. Now on page 2 here we can see an example of this. I'll just put this in a wireframe. Here we've got some text, the script type text, where they join up in this section here, but again you'll see after zooming in you've got this notched effect happening here. And if I go, if I select the items there and go into solid view you can see what's happening. Now we don't want that, we want to clean that up a little bit. Now it's very easy to do that with a smooth connector. I just zoom into this area here like this. So I've got to process this, uh, these um, shapes first. The first thing I need to do is select them. And I need to convert them to curves. So I can go up to the curves menu and I can click on convert to curves or alternatively I can click on this button over here, the convert to curves button. But I'll click on it up here. So this has converted these uh, two shapes to curves here. So if I go to wireframe mode you can see that they're currently grouped so we'll go up to a range and we'll just ungroup those. So now we've got two separate curve shapes and what we want to do is we want to smoothly connect these two shapes together. To do that we're going to have to combine them but before I do that I'm just going to open up the end so that we've got the two shapes to, uh, to connect together. So I'll go to node edit mode and I can just use my knife tool up here and I can just cut that out like that and as you can see I've got this as an open end now. And again I can go into object mode, back to node mode, knife tool 
and I've cut that out there and I've now got my start and my end point on this side of the curve here. So now I've got my two separate curves that I need to combine. So I just select them together like that, go up to Curves and go Combine. And now they're combined curves, I'll put them back in a wireframe. And now I'm going to use the Smooth Connector. So I just go into Node Edit Mode here like this. And you can see that this is the, uh, the end of the curve here and I'm going to connect these two together. So come up here, I go to Smooth Connector and if I click on this, you'll see it runs through and it comes up to this side of the shape here and I can choose where I want to go. I mean obviously I can create all sorts of funny looking shapes but for this particular case we just want to click it there and we'll click it here and come down to there and click it there. So now we've got this nice smooth effect between these two shapes and if I go into or take them out of wireframe mode you can now see how nice and smooth that is using the smooth connector. So that's the smooth connector. It's great for using or working on a single shape and you can also connect shapes together to get them nice and perfectly smooth. Now the final thing I want to show you in this lesson was the replace section. Now, as we can see in this particular curve if I zoom in we've got a very jaggedy looking uh, set of curves here. And this can happen for all sorts of reasons. You can be presented with artwork like this. You might uh, have some pretty poor quality artwork you've traced and you get this effect where you get these little notches and bits and pieces. And this is where the Replace Section Curve can come in as well. And of course you can also use the Smooth Connector etc. But there's a, a specific tool designed to fix up this problem. So just put this in wireframe mode again. Go to Node Edit Mode. And we can see our uh, nodes along this uh, shape here. So we go to the Replace Section drop down and this time we're going to click on Replace Section, this, this tool here. So we click on that and you'll see on the screen there we've got the word Replace Section there. Okay, And the cursor follows around the shape. So if I start here, and I just select points that I think represent where that curve should roughly be going through. Now here we've got this big notch so it's probably going to be about there. And as you can see you get this preview which gives you an idea of what it's going to do. And I can now click Apply, and you can see what it's done. It's actually replaced that section with a much smoother curve, and it stays in Replace Section mode, so I can now move on and do some other parts. I might go from here, click here, here, there, and there. Just the points where I think the curve should flow through. And one thing you'll know is that, or notice is that I get these red nodes here. I can actually come back and edit on these and move them around which is a great way of just finally adjusting the, the exact shape you're looking for. I click Apply and you can see what it's done there. It's, it's gone through and it's changed that curve or replaced that curve with that section. And I can now come up to this point here, find the couple of points that I think that represent that part of the shape and click Apply. And you can see what's happening very quickly. I'll come in here. Very quickly we're actually fixing up the shape of this curve and before we know it, click Apply, and we can just go back and just fix up little spots like this. And we can easily go back into um, Node Edit Mode like so, and click Cancel. And then we can come back and we can slightly Node Edit our nodes like this. And before we know it, we've cleaned that curve up. Maybe delete that one there, delete that curve there or that node there and we'll go back out of wireframe mode and very quickly with replace section there and a little bit of node editing we've cleaned that curve up quite uh, quite a lot uh, compared to the way it did look. So that's the replace section and the uh, connector tools and you find them in node edit mode up here and that's how those tools work and that's the end of this lesson.